restored. Then you will call me, you will come and pray to me, and I will answer you. You will seek me and you will find me because you will seek me with all your heart. Yes, I say you will find me and I will restore you to your land. I will gather you from every country and from every place to which I have scattered you, and I will bring you back to the land from which I had sent you away into exile. I, the Lord, have spoken. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 12 to 14. Have you ever felt out of sorts? You wanted to cry but didn't know exactly why. Despondent, depressed, in despair? I know we Christians aren't supposed to talk or think like this. But it's true, we do suffer from emotional lows, at least I have. My brethren, let me share what has helped me through these exasperating times. The passage of Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 12 to 14. Look closely. What do you see? God makes four conditional promises. Here are the first three. If you will call, come and pray, I will answer you. Do you know what happens when God answers you? He will restore you. He is a good father. He understands and knows what we are in need of. He only waits for us to call come and pray we suffer needlessly at times because we try to fix the problems ourselves then at last resort we bring our failed attempts to god brethren make god your first choice and you won't need any other options then we read that if you seek me i will allow you to find me when we find God, He restores us, and our emotional needs dissipate. When we sit fully in His presence, the Holy Spirit begins to energize our minds into higher thoughts, and our brain is restructured. Lord, help me get rid of my stinking thinking. Amen. Today, as you call upon the Lord and come before His throne in prayer, I ask you to seek His face earnestly. Then watch as He begins a restoration in you. But that's not all. As God restores you, He will also make you a blessing to others. Cheryl P. Simmons Share your thoughts about this devotions. God bless you.